Most agriculture in Kenya is rain-fed, but the rains are erratic, infrequent, and in recent years, simply inadequate. In Machakos, east of Nairobi, the farmers are having a bad year. Some of my crops have dried up because of water. The rain was not sufficient, it was too low, so I could not get enough food. Due to the lack of rain, it's been declared a failed season for this region. The little water available to this community in the lakes and ponds is only enough for domestic use and insufficient for irrigation, so crops have died. Our season went for so bad. We never got enough rains, and the time we had rains, let's say 10, 15 years ago, the rains has been coming, becoming worse and worse and worse as we go. So in our area, we are in trouble. We are getting starvation. These farmers are being helped by an IAEA project that's using nuclear science to conduct research on crops that thrive with little water, retain moisture and improve soil fertility. We have a variety of crops or enterprises that are available for the farmers to choose from. The most important thing would be which one is the most water efficient one. And uh, again, that is where IE using the neutron probe, IE using uh, the carbon uh, technique comes in handy to determine the most water efficient cropping system, the most water efficient cropping crop varieties. Although most crops in this area have died due to lack of water, the crops at the IAEA's experimental site are thriving. Like in many parts of the world, rain-fed agriculture plays a vital role in food production in Kenya. But since rainfall is unpredictable, the soil and water management projects operated by the IAEA are essential to ensure food security.